This is a home loan hack for self-employed applicants that hold a company ABN, not a sole trade ABN, but a company ABN to get a home loan, especially in the past two years, you're declaring like shit all for your income and you can't get a loan. Mind you, this is not dodgy. It's very above water and it's just a new policy update on selective banks. And it can be applied for sole traders, but more leaning towards company ABNs. Your GST, by the way, has to be registered and you need to be holding that company ABN for a minimum of two years for this to work. So this is the hack. So if you're a self-employed company ABN and you've been like in the last two years declaring like minimal you know income for whatever bloody reason obviously to you know avoid tax but now you're stuck sucked in because you can't get a home loan well there's a there's a policy where right now you can actually pay yourself a wage for a minimum of six months and the bank will use it for servicing Woo. and like always i'll go to my drawing board and i'll show you everything that you need to know so in an ideal world for example the unicorn self-employed person which doesn't exist but for example, let's just say that person does exist. You know, you would have had your financial year ending 2021 and 2022, and you're applying for a home loan, for example, for $1 million. And you have a company net profit around, you know, 150K, you know, after expenses. And then you guys pay yourself a wage of, for example, $60,000, right? 60K. So then basically the bank can use, you know, 60 plus 150 is about to 10K. And yes, that will service this $1 million loan. But then let's wake up, wake up. This is reality, okay? Self-employed people don't like paying tax. So this is what they do. So let's go back to this example. The unicorn is dead. No unicorn self-employed person. Basically 99% of self-employed people, you know, uh, they made a profit of 150K, uh, make up some bullshit expenses, 149K expenses. Okay, $1 profit. Okay, boom, pay less tax. Uh, they pay themselves a wage, nah, man. Let's pay themselves 18K, all right? So basically that plus that, $19,000 gets jack shit. Can't get that loan, right? Because the self-employed applicant can't get a loan, they go to the accountant and suck their no, 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 and go, please, can you sign this low doc letter? And the accountant's like, if you bro, not under my license. Then you guys are like, fuck bro, make all this money, can't get a home loan? Are you serious? Well, there is a solution for you. So if you're this 99% uh, self-employed people, you know, the pay less tax, make up expenses people and your income is 19k well for the next six months in your timeline if you for example put yourself on 150k you get yourself on the books and basically take a wage for example 150k salary comes in every month for six months you have to also register for that pay poig tax pay yourself super show proof of that don't be dodgy then our account issues a letter to say you paying yourself a wage will impact your company profits and then apply the final ingredient which is patience i know it's very hard for you bloody self-employed people but apply this for six months and get the bank statements to show the salary credit into the bank account the pay slips and then obviously your you know your low income tax returns give it to the bank and then bob's uncle you should get the loan but then you might say oh q i don't want to do that i don't have six months to wait the property markets will go whew, and then i'll miss it on the market i have two options for you well number one option is well sucked in you can't get a loan all right that's life all right accept it option number two is pay your bloody taxes stop making up all these bloody expenses to avoid paying your company tax pay yourself a decent wage you bloody typical self-employed mofo which includes me i understand but hey hopefully this hacks works for you and jump in the comments let me know what you think